good CV, hasn't he, Slapchat? It seems to... Uh, his YouTube clips are certainly uh, up to scratch, but... Yeah, I mean, he's a good player. Um, he's he's built for the championship. You know, he's powerful, um, athletic. Technically, he's a little bit raw at times, you know, but um, he's a powerful boy and he's got a goal in him as well. Now, he's sporting Lisbon is a, is a huge club and it was a big step for him. You know, Stillian Petrov took more, more or less a year to settle in at Celtic before he became the, the player he turned out to be. Uh, Simeon has come here to try and get some experience and a bit, bit of a different culture, but obviously it's all geared to going back and being a success at a big club like Sporting. How did, how did he come up on the radar? Just, well, just an agent recommended him. I spoke to a few people, including Stillian. He felt he was a good player, might need a bit of conditioning because he, he hadn't played um, very much for Sporting, but he did get into the team there towards the end of... Uh, December and mid-January, and I like what I saw, you know, he can handle the ball, um, he can tackle, he's athletic, and like I said, certainly his goal record in Bulgaria was out, he was young player of the year in Bulgaria, and um, I think he's got something that will make us, you know, some to offer here, and I think he um, he's hungry because he hasn't played much football at sporting, but I think this is all geared to him going back and, and forging his way into the team eventually. Seems we've got a bit of a link down there in Lisbon with Regina coming through from FIFA as well. Well, yeah, I mean, we have got decent, well, I, I've got personal decent contacts with uh, a few agents um, in Portugal. I like the Portuguese mentality. We tried to sign another Portuguese player um, on Monday night, couldn't get that deal done. Um, and I think the hungry players, you know, I think they're technically good, I think they're strong. And I think some some of them are, have got a bit to prove, and um, they don't cost a lot of money, believe it or not. You know, if you find the right ones and the right at the right clubs. Um, what's, tell us a bit more about the, the lad from Celtic whose name uh, I can't pronounce. Tvarzik, is Tvarzik, it? Tvarzik, yeah. yeah, yeah. Philip, um, we had him in the first team at seventeen. Um, he good mentality even then. Um, he can play in a variety of positions. He's tall, athletic, very good left foot. Can head the ball, which you need to do in the championship. Can get around the pitch, can pass it well. Can be a bit sloppy at times, but you can't have everything at 17, 18. Then he had a, a real year, a real bad injury problem with his groin, both groins actually. And uh, he had surgery and that really curtailed him for a while. But um, I mean, he played for my first team at Celtic towards the end of last season and um, I always liked him. He was on a free, it's not cost us a lot of money and I think if we can get him up and running we could have a, a real good player in our hands. I mean, you've got a few options now in that sort of area, obviously Chungi's now now gone, are you, are you quite happy you're, you're compensating for that now? You've done well without Chungi anyway. Yeah, but I mean you're never happy to lose a player of that quality. But it was needs must because he wasn't making any indication that he wanted to stay. Um, he would have probably have had to take a pay cut, you know, such was the the contract he was on. And it made sense to sell him. Now you you, you don't want to lose a player of that quality, but uh, and like I said, the whole way through the process, the reality of it is we had to sell him. So in the end, we got a very good deal. We got money. We got Barry Bannon for no money. And you know there'll be bonuses and odds on later on. And I think Chung he's happy as well. He's got the opportunity to play in the Premier League as well again. The, just the, the, the weight of the players that you managed to, to bring in against Chungi leaving and, and maybe Jay Spear and perhaps you know, Keith Andrews maybe suggests the uh, the financial sort of uh, balance of the place. You know the, the the wages that were being paid out for some of the players. Well, we're we're yeah, certainly in a a far, far healthier position now in terms of wages per week. Now, I know there's a lot of loan players in, and I know that um, they'll probably not be here at the end of the season, but it was needs must. We had to do a bit of housekeeping on that. I needed to get some players in with, with a fresh approach. I'm not saying they're world beaters, but I'm saying that you know they could surprise a few people along the way. And there's a bit of pace in the team now as well, which is always important. Uh, particularly away from home. Overall, were you happy with the business that he did? Yeah, in the window? absolutely. Yeah, 
We missed out on a player, like I said, the Portuguese player. Um, right at the, at the death, but um, you can't have everything, you know. And we haven't spent money. So we are building to, you know, part of that was to look forward to the summer. Um, you know, we'll get money from, you know, the two FA Cup games. So we'll have a little bit of a budget there to, um, and, you know, bring permanence in in the, in the summer and, and try and make the squad better. But it's... Um, it's not a huge part of money, but it's it, it'll help. It's going to be a going to be a fair bit of focus on Zach, isn't he? After his performance against Liverpool in front of the cameras and everything. I thought he was all right. Yeah, but the, it's his third game, so yeah. you know I'm not. It was it was good bits he did, and it was bad bits he did. You know, so but you're going to expect that from a 19 year old in only his third game. You know, against a team of Liverpool's quality, but we're delighted with him. Um, I don't want to talk too much about him because I've got 19, 20 other very good players in the squad as well. But he, he's made a very, very good start to his career. Maybe you find out a bit more about him as you did probably with Josh when you started going away to places like Rotherham and, and getting to the ground of the Championship. Maybe yeah, I don't think that will phase him though. I think um, you know his work rate's very good. This will be you know his first one away from home. Intimidating place, Derby. You know, would be a huge crowd there. A team on the up, full of confidence. You know, there thereabouts with a, a great manager. So it's as difficult as they come at this level, I suppose.